Fei Fang of Critias! What? But you can't fuse a trap card with a monster! <laughs> Looks to me like I just did, Alistair. <laughs> Rise up, Doom Virus Dragon! Hey guys, this is Aremia, and I am bringing you some Lair of Darkness, Fang of Critias gameplay today, and I'm super excited about a really sweet deck. The basic plan is to change everything into dark monsters, tribute them off, and set up these crazy virus cards that basically prevent our opponent from playing the game. We of course have other ways to search those cards, like Trap Trick and Lilith, and Arima also searches our Lair of Darkness field spell. So without further ado, let's see just how well Lair of Darkness and Fang of Critias can fare against the likes of Sword Soul and Virtual World up in Platinum and Diamond ranks. Lair of Darkness on the play. And we search our Lair of Darkness. And then we set it up with Tour Guide to summon out Lilith. Of course negated, but she can still tribute as a quick effect. And we set our Sanctum and activate it during their draw step, but they must have just top decked that Ash because I imagine they would have used it against uh, discarding a Rima. So they go Borbo, and it's clear we're up against uh, Zodiac uh, Tri Brigade. So we go ahead and tribute Borbo because we don't want to have to deal with Zeus at all. And now, unfortunately, they're free to do their Tri Brigade stuff during their main phase two. And now they get into access code. And the first thing they do is actually destroy our face down, but they don't realize that we set Scythe face down, which I think is pretty funny. Um, so now they're just gonna start destroying our stuff. <clears throat> and we top deck Super Poly, which is pretty good, so we can discard our Diabolos and get rid of their access code to go into Starving Venom. So now we can swing through deal some damage, and then during the battle phase, tribute off our Lilith, even though she's negated, to summon out Diabolos, and then swing for game. All right, playing Lair, and we are stuck going second. So they go Fright for Patchwork. Um, they're playing Despia this game. You see the field spell there. And they go into Masquerade. And I think they get Traumaturge out. Yep. So they didn't actually do that much, um, and we start Lair and Lilith, which is really good. So we activate Lair, take some damage, go Lilith, and then we tribute their Masquerade and we guarantee our Eradicator. Um, I think I only had two at the time, but we still get it because uh, Trap Trick would also get us into Eradicator. So I activate Eradicator on their upkeep, or standby phase, <laughs> sorry, um, and we tribute their Dramaturge and then choose Spell and the funniest thing happens. So they try to fuse, um, and we go crush card. <laughs> so they flip their hand, and they reveal all spell cards and scoop it up right away. Oh my goodness, that was so good. Lair of Darkness going first, with a pretty abysmal start. Um, <laughs> so we activate Sanctum on their upkeep, and then they ash it. So we're really stuck here and we're against Virtual World, but luckily they're actually so afraid of what our face down is, they go into Breaksword and try to get rid of it, right? So in response to them targeting our face down, we activate Trap, tri uh, trap Trick and then set a Crush Card Virus to set up for our Doom Virus play on our next turn. And since they were so terrified of whatever our face down could be, they actually don't end up killing us here or setting up VFD. So that's pretty good for us. They're just gonna do some virtual world things. Summon Ptolemy and then swing in. So we take some damage, but we survive the turn. So we get our draw here and we top deck a lair, which is pretty decent. It's not like the most amazing thing, but that's fine. And we go Fang of Critias to destroy four cards <laughs> and then set up our lair, set two again and pass. <laughs> Doom Virus is so good when it's good. And we also get to know what they're drawing, which is amazing. So we Scythe, and we knew what they drew. It's nothing. So we activate Trap Trick and then set an Eradicator, you know, just to be safe. And Doom Virus is still going to activate for the next two turns, which is huge. We draw another Sanctum, which doesn't help us. Uh, they get rid of our Lair, but that really doesn't matter at this point. Um, we have... Uh, enough board presence and we took away all their resources so they're really stuck 
and they draw uh, cross that designator and they scoop to us just playing our next sanctum so ggs all right going second with lair and we have a pretty good start uh starting lilith and lair is really good and we draw into Diabolos, which is also really good. Uh, they're playing Buster Blader, which I wasn't super familiar with at the time of uh, playing the game. So I make a couple mistakes, but that's okay. We guarantee our Eradicator by tributing Lilith, and then we can special summon our Diabolos because we tributed a Dark Monster we control. And they're just doing some Buster Blader things. Uh, we actually don't care all that much about this guy because we're, we don't need to go into the extra deck. And then uh, they fusion summon into uh, Destroyer Swordsman here and turn my uh, dragon into defense mode, which means we can't activate its ability. I was planning on using its tribute in conjunction with Lair to get rid of one of their big threats, but uh, because he is negated or can't activate his stuff by his fusion buster blader, we have to set and pass, but we still have our Eradicator face down. So on their turn we can tribute something and they go into Beals and that seems like a good target to tribute so we go ahead and sack it and I pick spells like a total noob um, apparently you know Buster Blitter has a ton of traps and I should have picked trapped but uh, that's okay uh, we, we still come out on top at the end so they swing in and we have Mirror Force which is pretty funny uh, I, Mirror Force in this deck is actually really good because Mirror Force Dragon with Fang of Curtius is also very strong. And we get another Eradicator. So this time we get to pick Trap. Um, and we give them some tokens. And the viruses, especially Eradicator, like, last so long. It's really crazy. So now we go for our Tribute. We get rid of their Link Monster. They have their own Trap Trick, which is cool. And then we get rid of the token we gave them. We set a crush card virus and we get another token, which does come in handy here. So they got a Buster Blader. And right away, I think I'm going to activate this. Yep, I'm gonna tribute their Buster Blader and pick Trap this time. So now we have two viruses going. All of their spells and all of their traps are gonna get destroyed as soon as they draw them, which is really crazy. So they try to swing in, but we have Crush Card to get rid of our uh, token and get rid of their Fusion Monster. We give them some tokens here. Yeah, and you see we have two viruses going, so they really can't do much of anything. And we draw into Arima. We get rid of the tokens we gave them, and we sack our Diabolos to add and special summon another Diabolos set another crush card and get another token just in case they do get into another big monster we can just get rid of it right away and you saw the eradicator virus got rid of that card and they just scoop it up lair going first this time and we have arima so we can search our lair so we get lair and lilith and then set two and pass uh, lair plus super poly you probably know but is really really good and we are up against virtual world so they do virtual world things. Uh, Eradicator is not going to be super helpful yet, but we can tribute their monster right away and get into Artifact Sanctum. Uh, maybe I should have done Trap Trick and then Trap Trick into Artifact Sanctum, but I don't think it really matters. Uh, they get two monsters on board and one of them is Lulu, so right away I want to get rid of it. Uh, Lulu is probably the most important card to uh, negate or get rid of for virtual world. That's why they add it back. And then we give them a token, and we successfully stop their turn. So now we're going to try to OTK, and we draw a Remo, which is perfect. Because we get to tribute the token and add Diablos. Diabolos, rather. <laughs> and we have Lilith, so we can tribute as a quick effect during the battle phase to summon the Diablos uh, that we just added, and then swing into the win. Alright, Lair on the draw, going second. And we are up against Sword Soul, so they're going to do their typical Sword Soul shenanigans. Summon Shi Zhao and go into Barone. Uh, they also go ahead and grab the Trap card. Uh, it's basically a themed Icarus attack, so they tribute a Wyrm to destroy two of our cards. 
and then we take damage. They set their trap that they just searched and pass. So we have access to two layers here. So we play our first one and that gets the Barone negation. And then we get to search a second one with our Rima, activate it. And they make the mistake of not blowing it up. So we go ahead and super poly all three of their cards into Tri-Fi over Rotom. And we set our Eradicator and pass. So we know that their face down card is a trap and they summon their second Moye. And in response to the Vashuda, we go ahead and tribute our Tri-Fi over Rudum for calling Trap on Eradicator. So that gets rid of their uh, Destruction Trap. And then because we tributed a monster, we get to summon back Diabolos, Lord of the Lair. And Baxia can't target us here because um, Darkest Diabolos is immune to targeting, but they do get rid of our Lair, which is really unfortunate because that helps us get rid of all their monsters by tributing, right? So Diabolos, of course, gonna swing over their Baxia, and then we set both of our cards. We top decked a Skarm, which is pretty crappy. Um, they grabbed Vanities off the top, and then Eradicator destroyed it, which is really good. Uh, Eradicator comes in handy a lot in this game because we know exactly what cards are in their hand. So they go into their second Chi Zhao and grab the, uh, the Sword Soul Searcher and they grab Arch Nemesis Protos, which is really bad for us, because if you don't know, um, Protos basically prevents us from special summoning any dark monsters. That's kind of the whole point of the deck, right? So when they swing, swung in, uh, I activated Mirror Force so we can get rid of their Qi Zhao, just to make our lives easier so we wouldn't take as much extra damage. And we're just looking for an answer to this Protos. Um, and we don't find one, <laughs> we find a Mirror Force, so we just go ahead and set Skarm again. Uh, we don't want to set our Mirror Force because Protoss is immune to destruction. Um, so we're just going to take some more damage, and we're hoping for an answer off the top. Skarm does give us access to Lilith. Um, of course, we can't special summon Darkest Diabolos on our turn because Protoss is ridiculously strong. Uh, and we get a Sanctum off the top, which is actually really good. So on their upkeep, I decide to tribute our Lilith in order to uh, grab Trap Trick from our deck. We also chain Artifact Sanctum so they can't go into any of their Synchro Monsters. And because we tributed Lilith before they could activate their Protoss, we can go ahead and Special Summon Diabolos. Of course, it's going to get destroyed anyway, but that's fine. So we summon Scythe in attack mode mainly so the uh, Celestial can't swing over it in defense. And then Protoss activates and gets rid of our two darks and then swings over Scythe. And they pass because we know what they're drawing. They're, they're drawing all of their uh, hand traps and answers, but we get prosperity off the top, which is huge. So we banish six and we get into Fang of Critias, which is really good. I could have activated Trap Trick here in order to thin out our deck by two more cards. But I want to keep Trap Trick up just in case they do draw into Moye. I can chain Trap Trick and then chain the Artifact Sanctum that I would search off of it in order to prevent them from Synchro Summoning again, which would be really good. Um, so we do find an answer. I figured going six deep, we would definitely find an answer of some kind. And we do get into Fang of Critias, which is great because we have a set Mirror Force here. And Mirror Force Dragon is light attribute, so it gets around the Protoss and we get to swing over it, which is cool. And then we just pass turn. And Mirror Force Dragon's really strong. They can't target it or attack it because otherwise we're gonna destroy all their cards. And they don't draw an answer here. And we draw into Tour Guide, which is enough to get us this game. So Mirror Force Dragon swings over their hand trap because these are also hand traps. We know what they've drawn. Um, and then Tour Guide summons out a Lilith and negates it, so it gets 2,000 attack instead of 1,000. We swing in, and as a quick effect during the battle phase, we can tribute, and then even though it's negated, we tribute a monster, grab Diabolos, and they actually rage quit here. <laughs> so, uh, you know, some meta players just can't handle losing to non-meta strategies, but uh, good game nonetheless. Well, that is gonna do it for this video. I'm pretty proud of how the deck performed. It obviously didn't win every single game. There were definitely games where we just got shut out by Sword Soul, but when we did go off, it was amazing, and I was really happy with it. 
If you didn't want to play stuff like the Artifact Engine, there are plenty of other options that do uh, more on-theme tributing stuff that you want to do. There's, of course, Deck Devastation and Full Force Virus. Those are both good options. I found Eradicator and Crush Card to be better because it was more on theme with Fang of Critias. Uh, some other options would be Ballista Squad for more tributing and destruction. Basically, you tribute an opponent's monster and then destroy another card your opponent controls, which is pretty cool. And Dark Spirit Art Greed is basically a pot of greed where you tribute your opponent's monster because of a uh, layer of darkness and you also get to draw two cards. So this is definitely the one I like the most because I think Fang of Critias is super fun to use and that's just how I wanted to build the deck. But that is gonna do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, you know, do the YouTube stuff, and I will see you guys next time. I hope you have a great day and God bless.